Hello, fabulous Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. And for you in particular, what a huge month it is at that. And it really is the grand moment, the, the big event. It has to do with, of course, Uranus entering your sign. Now, a lot of other things are happening, and this is right around the 6th of the month. And so we have lots of activities, but it really is about the power of this momentous move of Uranus into your sign that you are going to feel most. And there's a couple of ways I see this playing out. Now, of course, there are the larger themes as Uranus moves into this part of the sky right into 2026 and will lend itself to a whole other version of you, a cleansed and a, a sense of you truly stepping into a more authentic version of yourself in a way that you have likely never known before in your life and in a way that I do believe you will love. So that will be part of an ongoing journey for you. You can watch the Uranus special horoscope on YouTube. I talk all about it for the collective and of course for your sign as well. There's preview horoscopes in there. But where it comes to this month, we do have right around the same time Mercury going retro and a powerful new moon, a new moon that is connecting in the sky, happening hand in hand with Neptune, speaking in harmony with Saturn and Pluto. And it is this Mercury and this very powerful new moon that is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendships and groups that you belong to. And I do think that the fact that these events are all happening on the same day is not uh, just happenstance, but rather it has to do with a connection that you are going to have now between what is happening with your friends, the support they give you, the inspiration, and very likely the practical opportunities that they help to bring into your life. And the sense of personal new beginnings that you are very likely to feel. There is an intimate connection now with you reconnecting with people that maybe you've lost touch with or maybe haven't been around as much or sense of opportunities you thought were lost to be involved in a group endeavor now coming back around. And what that says about your understanding of self, your renewed and rebirthed understanding of who it is that you truly are meant to be in this life. It is going to be your friends, the new group endeavors, professional group endeavors as well, uh, people that you are connected to, getting involved with other people, meeting new people now, that is going to facilitate not only all the wonderful new beginnings that are set to take place for you this month, but also as part of the much larger picture in the years ahead. Having a new moon in this part of the sky tends to bring with it uh, some new people. It is a very social part of the sky as well. And so sometimes you'll meet these people as you are involved in a social setting. Uh, or again, you might be involved in some sort of professional networking type of thing. But it is the new people that you meet now in particular, along with the people that you reconnect with that you haven't connected with in a while. It is going to be these types of people in particular that factor in that much more uh, towards the opportunity, the success that you experience not only this month, but again, over the course of the coming seven years. So do not take those meetings lightly at this time. But at the same time, the most powerful connections you're going to make are those that feel the most natural. Uh, they don't feel forced. They feel as if they are coming together in a way where the connection feels that much more real. Now, I would also add this part of the sky also has to do with mass media. You add to it, Uranus has to do with things like reaching large numbers of people uh, through the digital sphere, uh, through reaching people on mediums like television and the internet. And so it is very possible now with a sky like this that you do get some chance to be in front of large numbers of people, very likely in the digital space in some way. Again, it could be television, it could be the internet. Uh, but don't be surprised if someone puts a, a TV camera in front of you 
or it gives you an opportunity in some way to share who it is you are or what it is that you think uh, or what it is that your unique message could be. If you feel like you don't know what that is and there's nothing you're doing that you feel would garner that kind of attention, well, it's amazing how actually having that moment when that attention comes can help you to get in touch with what that unique message, what that unique voice in the world might just be. Now, as we move later into the month, right around the 21st, which is the day of the equinox, uh, is when we are going to also have a full moon. And this full moon is happening in a part of the sky that for you has to do with your daily life. It has to do with your work, uh, your clients, your customers, your coworkers, uh, the type of work that you're doing as well as covered here, as well as your own habits and daily rituals, including your health related habits as well. Now, what's interesting is that it is this spring equinox that happens at this time that always denotes a new beginning. And it is this full moon that is happening at the very beginning of its sign, as we've had lately with the full moons that have been taking place at the very beginning of their respective signs, that represents a beginning as well. However, it is a full moon, which means that as part of this beginning, there is going to be some closure as part of it as well, something coming full circle uh, and feeling a sense of completion. Now, Take this in context with a very uh, new energy of Uranus in your sign. Even though you got a taste of this in the middle of last year, it is now Uranus returning for a nice long stay. And it is also Uranus that has to do with the new and the next as well. So you put these energies together and it does suggest that the changes that are happening for you as we get into the second part of the month are not just going to be about um, you having insights, but in some way it's going to speak to how you're actually living your life. And so it could very well be at this time that your truth and your sense of what it means to be authentically yourself means that something has to change in the workplace, uh, whether it is you doing something totally different than you've been doing before, uh, whether it is that you feel some of the dynamics between you and the people who surround you in the workplace has to change. The inner change is going to be reflected in what is happening for you in the workplace and how you feel about it. And again, this could be dramatic for some people, especially if you were born at the very beginning of your respective sign. However, all Taurians out there, are going to experience this energy. So it is important to pay attention to how you're feeling, but also how it is that you're feeling life in the most mundane, practical ways needs to change for you. Now, as I said, health-related habits can change for you at this time. The daily rituals can change as well. And it will very well be connected to some sense of getting in touch with what is true for you and what it means to be authentically yourself and where you feel that there's some habit uh, or some daily uh, thing that you've been doing that does not affirm this new and rising identity that is emerging for you, well, that's where your most powerful changes are set to take place. And so if you think about it, things like the way that we eat, there is a very long tradition going way, way back to the very earliest evidence of humanity, I would say, uh, where we see people spiritualizing how they eat. Um, and so whether it is, you know, not eating certain things on certain days for spiritual reasons or choosing to eat certain foods because it helps them to align with a certain sacred energy, there is a very long tradition uh, that human beings have had in understanding that in some way how it is that we are nourishing ourselves with food is connected to spiritual energy. And so this is going to give you that opportunity to consider what is it that you believe about yourself. That is a powerful spiritual stance to have. Your self-definition is ultimately a spiritual definition. So how is that now going to change what you understand about those smallest moments? And it doesn't necessarily have to do with food. It can have to do with the way that you think or other little habits that you may have. But how does those or do those habits in some way affirm 
your sense of truth that is emerging for you now? Well, it can be intricate, but it can also be clear as day when you know what it is that is ready to change and that clarity may find you now. Where it comes to matters of love, Mars is going to remain in your sign until the very end of the month. And so it was in the middle of last month that Mars entered your sign and now all of this month. And with Mars in your sign, it does give you a little bit more of an edge, if you will, a little bit more drive, more determination, but also a more immediate sense of the things that you are passionate about in every area of your life. But of course, that means passion as well in terms of attraction to other people and the desire to connect with others uh, can show up at this time. So if you are someone who is open to meeting someone new, you will very likely be motivated uh, to connect with others and very likely are going to have some moments that feel uh, where the passion is especially strong. You wanna watch this especially right around uh, the full moon that I mentioned, which takes place at the equinox right around the 21st. Um, and that is because under the same sky as this full moon, we are going to have a super harmonious connection between Mars and Pluto. And when these two planets speak, especially with Mars in your sign, um, there is just something that you are radiating that is not only able to attract, but also able to boldly go in directions that you desire. Now, this can speak to just about any area of life. You will have a certain power with you, so make sure you use that wisely. But part of that is going to mean a desire to have an intense experience with another person. Whether you're pursuing it or whether it shows up for you, chances are there will be experiences with someone new that helps you to get in touch with the intensity of your feelings. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, this can be a very powerful energy as well. And it is this meeting of Mars and Pluto that is going to be very all in or not. It tends to be very make or break. And so either you know, you're ready to change yourself and move towards this shared connection, shared identity with this person, or you are understanding where it is that you truly are ready to go in a different direction. It becomes very clear, but more than that, there tends to be a lot of confidence with you at this time as well, and a lot of bravery as you go about making change. And sometimes that includes evolving beyond a particular situation. For those of you in an established bond, it is important that you be mindful of your own energy because there tends to be a very strong desire to move towards some change in your own life. And if you are not engaging this energy very actively, taking action, uh, towards what it is that you truly are wanting, well, what can happen is you can find yourself growing impatient. And it is easier to take out some of that frustration with the people who are closest to us. Um, and so just be mindful of that. If you find yourself feeling impatient with your partner, is it about them or not? Uh, if it is that there is a dynamic going on there that needs attention, that needs to transform, well, you're gonna get a chance to do just that, especially right around the 20th. That is a turning point for you where it comes to your connection with your partner. And this can be a powerful time of understanding what's worked and what hasn't and bringing about a spirit of meaningful change that transforms your relationship for the better. What I love about this month for you, well, look, it's got to be Uranus, right? Uranus is moving into your sign for good. It is a high, I will say that, because it is the high of living truly free and truly true to yourself. It is a sense of connection uh, to brilliance that is going to find you now. And you may find yourself surprised by the realizations that you're having or how quickly it is that your mind is working and able to make connections. And it is possible with a sky like this that there are some people who can't keep up, but chances are you'll be meeting a lot of new people this month as well, especially early in the month, that are going to be very excited to be part of this brand new chapter of your life.
Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.